Hi, Mrs. Cotton and Mrs. Wilson. My name is Stella Cox. I'm from your education class. It's 361 and I'm in section three. And this is my interaction with uh, mindset. So the book focuses on the differences between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. And I found that as I was reading, I can see periods of my life where I've been more fixed and where where I've had more of a fixed mindset versus when I've had a growth mindset. And what kept coming back and um, back over into my mind is um, my journey through the education system and how I've done in schooling. So I want to take you on a journey and show you how I've had a fixed mindset and a growth mindset when it co has come to my education. So first I want to start in second grade. When I was in second grade, I was reading at a kindergarten level. Um, my mom had just given birth to my little sisters and they were twins. And so my reading kind of um, took a second priority to that. And so my when my second grade teacher told my mom that I was reading at a kindergarten level, she was horrified and immediately got to work and so for Christmas she bought me Charlotte's Web and I remember opening it when I was I was eight years old I remember opening it and thinking oh there's there's no way I can read this book and so I went to my mom and I said you know mom I love it thank you so much but this book is too hard I can't read it so right there is an example of how I had a, a fixed mindset even in second grade I thought I was a poor reader I did poorly in school and that's how it was always gonna be but my mom was very quickly able to change me from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset and she did that um, she said okay well how about you just try the first sentence and so I tried the first sentence I still remember it's um, where is Papa going with that axe said Fern to her mother as she set the table for breakfast and I could read that first sentence and my mom said if you can read the first sentence you can read this book and so I did. We read it together, and I finished um, second grade reading at a third grade level. So that's an example of how my mom was able to change me from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And as I keep looking back, um, you know, as my reading skills improved and as my writing skills improved, all my other subjects um, improved as well. I improved in science and math and by the time I got to middle school, I was known as the teacher's pet and someone that always did well in classes. And so I think I switched back to a fixed mindset because my grades defined me. And there's always a period where everyone's grades are low at the beginning of the semester um, because there's only one or two assignments in the grade book. And I would get really upset even over a B. And so I think I flipped back into a fixed mindset because when I was faced with a challenge and I did poorly, um, I saw myself as a failure and not as um, as just experience of experiences experiencing a failure and seeing it as an opportunity to grow and improve and I think that that kind of continued in high school but I can see now in college that I'm more um, intri intrinsically motivated I am not as stressed out about my grades and what I really want is to be a good teacher and to influence my students and so I can see that shift as I've gone to college as I've um, studied and worked hard in my classes that I really want to learn the material um, because of my goals and because I feel passionate about it and um, you know and I try things that are hard I took a swim class last semester because I wasn't good at it and I wanted to learn how to swim and the thing that I have learned the most that I think I've most improved on is you know, not only do I want to have a growth mindset, but I want to help my students who have a fixed mindset to um, help them change into a growth mindset. You know, I think just like my mom did for me um, with helping me learn how to read, I want to do that for my students. I don't want my students to come in 
to my classroom thinking, I can't write, I can't read, I can't do this. And I so I want to be able to find a way as a teacher to help my students um, change from a fixed mindset to a growth, growth mindset. All right, so that's all I have for you. I'll see you Monday. Thanks.